Easy DIY. How to replace the weather stripping on your door? The easy way. Coming up right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Easy DIY. I am Ethan. And I'm Ron. It's a great Saturday. It's a little cold outside, so we thought this would be a great time to show you this video. So I don't know if you guys have a, a door that goes facing the outside. This one goes to the garage that we have here. And uh, if you look at this strip now, we've actually replaced it already. We, uh, we were going to show you what it looked like before, but that's okay. But a lot of times you won't even know that you have to replace the weather strip. You can see on this door now, you can't see any daylight come through. Before we do the replacement, there's a lot of daylight coming through and a lot of wind coming through in that cold air. So if you want to keep the heat in and the cold air out during the winter and the reverse during the summer, stay tuned. we got you covered. All right, so for this project, you're going to need a piece of uh, weather stripping. I'm pretty sure that this piece is around like 76 to 80 inches but uh, it, it depends, you know, the, the size varies that you can buy. And also you'll need a pair of scissors and that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple, pretty simple install. So uh, let's get right to it. So first we're gonna actually take a look here and you can see this uh, piece of weather stripping is pretty damaged. We have cats, so they like, to, uh, they like to shred things, but we're gonna go ahead and remove this old piece of weather stripping that's damaged. And this will be the, the piece that we, we're gonna cut here in the next step and fit and we should be in good shape. So now we have our new piece of uh, weather stripping. You can see the one side has uh, a rubber type insert. So we're gonna go ahead and put that and just, if you can see what we're doing here, we're kind of securing that in between that little groove in the door and we're just gonna make sure it's nice and snug. It should fit really nice in there, nice and tight so we don't have any air coming in or out. So if you, if you kind of see what we're doing, we just kind of run our hand along there and it should really almost guide itself on in. So uh, if once you once you get the technique down it becomes really easy so you will have a little bit left at the end and we're gonna show you how to uh, trim that next so we have the new weather stripping install we have a little bit left here at the end so you just want to kind of eyeball that and take a nice sharp scissors and you can see we're just gonna cut that extra off and it should just fit nice and snug again the the idea is to not have any space you know when you close that door you shouldn't see any any light coming through at all and we'll have a good install Okay, so now the new weather stripping is installed, it's trimmed. When you close the door, you can see no light comes through at all. It's nice, it's clean, so we won't have any air coming in and out. Great job, looking good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this install was able to help you guys out. If you did enjoy, do make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And as always, if you do have any questions, go ahead and send us an email at askeasydiy at gmail.com. I'll pop that up on the screen below now. But uh, that's all we have for you guys today. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. See you next time.